Uh, the story behind this California surf project is a, it's a funny one actually, my, my wife. Now, she was with me and a good friend of mine surfing. We were driving out on a beautiful Central California day, just gonna go take some pictures and, and we were kind of talking, me and the surf, we were just kind of collaborating, you know, I'd love to do this, I'd love to do a, a trip that kind of summed up all the things we love about California, you know, and he is an artist and I was a photographer and it was kind of like this rad moment and my wife just butted in, she's like, hey, you guys should do a book, you know, something on California, something that sums up all these things you guys love and maybe like a trip or something and we were like, you know, my gosh, it made sense and at that point it was just like this, you know, stir of like, you know, random ideas, but in the back of my mind I'm like, yeah, right, this is not gonna happen. <laughs> and so, I think it was like two or three weeks later, um, me and, and the same surfer, we were actually Eric Soderquist, he's my co-author, we were in um, Santa Barbara, and I came to him and I was like, hey, you know, there's this photo contest for this really uh, famous, prestigious photo editor, Larry Flame Moore, who actually passed away the year before. And there was a grant that followed the contest, and it was for $5,000, and I was like, hey, if I win this thing, like, we might actually pull this off, you know? And so that was kind of like this, like, yeah, you know, we like like clapped hands, yeah, it'll happen, right? So I applied, and at the time I had been um, I had been spending the summer interning at Transworld Surf Magazine, and um, just kind of honing my editorial skills and learning about the process and shooting photos as much as I can, living in my car <laughs> for the most part. And um, I think that because of that process, I was able to, you know, really just be up in the morning, be up early, you know, kind of like rise and, and sleep with the sun and you know I had this you know experience where I was able to get some images that I, I felt you know were some of my best and still are today. Um, and I applied for the grant, I won and part of the grant was to apply was to sorry write out what, what your um, what your goals were if you do with the money. If you got the money what were you supposed to do with it? What were you planning to do and what was your what was your ultimate you know idea and, and for me it was I wanted to do a book on California, something that would basically document two surfers' journey from the Oregon border to the Mexican border, basically the Tijuana Sloughs to the Smith River. And um, that trip was kind of going to be summed up in something called the California Book Project, which eventually turned into the California Surf Project because of Chronicle. And uh, so I won, and, and they really liked the idea, and they liked that I wanted to kind of take the money and put it into a project. And for me, it was it was never so much like. I want to I want to win because I want to take the money and I want to be the best. It was like I want to win so that I can do this project because that's what I was felt inspired by and I think that the motives were right and it was the right circumstance and I was able to to receive that money and it basically paid for gas and burritos and anything you anything you have or will need on the road, right? We packed up his VW bus in October I want to say 11th or something like that of uh, of um, 2006 and uh, it looked like a pack mule just surfboards on top and tents and kind of like packed to the brim, you know, and um, we headed out and uh, we spent about 50 days on the road coming back just right around Christmas time and we got some incredible surf and experienced some incredible things. We met some amazing people and more than anything, the, trip, the book is not so much a um, pictorial of like the surfing and this, it's more about the California experience. It's about the feelings and the things that you see on the road that inspire us. I mean, people came and picked up our book that, you know, had nothing to do with surfing, you know, it was like some guy that had sea kayaked with his wife up and down the coast, or people that had honeymooned, or spent time up in the Redwoods, or you know, Big Sur, or they had spent time in Mendocino, or they had, they had gone down to Santa Barbara or Ventura, you know, and they just, they, they could relate. And I think that's what it was about for me. It's not a surfer's book, it's a traveler's book. It's anyone that wants to um, feel and see California kind of through a pair of fresh eyes, and maybe, maybe inspire them again to search their own backyard. Be sure to subscribe to our blog now to stay updated on my show, and we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography. Also, check out our guests' website for a closer look at their work. Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silber reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.